Clive Custler wrestled with the story of the Leopoldville for years, trying to fill in the missing pieces. He even mounted an expedition to pinpoint the wreck. Using a kind of sonar technology called side scan, he identified the ship lying in 160 feet or 49 meters of water just off the coast of Cherbourg. That cleared up questions about its location, but prompted a slew of new ones as to why so many men died so close to shore. Why hadn't the Leopoldville received any assistance after she'd been hit? The HMCS Clairquat was also unlucky that night, a half a world away, near Halifax, Canada. Clairquat was a minesweeper, proceeding and protecting a troop ship carrying over 800 men across the Atlantic to the European battleground. Like the Leopoldville, Clairquat ended up on the wrong side of a torpedo. But ironically, her sinking ultimately saved hundreds of lives. And those who survived that Christmas of 1944 no doubt pay tribute every Christmas Eve to the crew of the minesweeper that saved convoy. And instead of taking out... The Sea Hunters have gathered in Halifax, Canada. Their mission is to search for and locate Clairquat and dive her remains. War records show she lies somewhere just south of Halifax in 330 feet or 100 meters of water. Nobody knows for sure. What we do know is that on Christmas Eve of 1944, Countless Allied forces headed toward the last stand of a desperate German war machine. Many died on the battlefield, but to those soldiers whose lives were cut short by the notorious German U-boats that night, the Sea Hunters will dedicate this mission.